Here's the scenario. I'm going to search in a database for articles about the role of racism in incarceration. These articles on the right symbolize everything that I might find in a database. Some of these are completely irrelevant to my topic, so how can I get a list of articles that are relevant? To sift through all of the articles available, I will use some search terms I've already brainstormed. Racism, incarceration, and prison. I will also use the search operators AND and OR to connect these terms in a way that will give me the most relevant articles for my topic. If I search with just the one term, incarceration, I will get articles that include that term. This one term will give me a lot of results, but many of them will not be relevant to all of the parts of my topic. Many articles about incarceration won't be about racism. If I search with just the one term, racism, I will get articles that include that term. This search will give me a lot of results, but again, many of them will not be relevant to all of the parts of my topic. Many articles about racism won't be about incarceration, though some may. You can see here that a few include both terms, but many don't. So how can I make it so that I only see the results with both terms? Connecting the two terms with the AND operator will give me all of the articles that include both terms. Any article that only includes one of the terms will not be included in my list of results. However, connecting the terms using the OR operator will give me any article that includes either of the two terms. Some will include only one term, and some will include both. This means that I will get more results, but many will be less relevant to my topic. The OR search operator is most useful when the two terms are synonymous or address the same criteria of my topic. This comes in handy for topics that include ideas that are called different things by different researchers, or when looking at multiple criteria. For example, when I search for incarceration, I may miss articles that are about this idea because the authors use different terms like prison or jail. Here you can see that there are two articles that use the term prison but don't show up when I'm searching incarceration. If I search incarceration or prison, I will be able to find those two articles that only use the term prison, as well as all of the other articles that use the term incarceration. The OR operator allows me to find all of the articles that may be relevant for my topic. What's more is that I can combine the two search operators to get a more precise list of results that is most relevant to my topic. So let's go back to the last search using the AND operator. I have six relevant results, but I'm missing the two articles that use the term prison. By searching incarceration or prison and racism, I will get a list of all eight articles that are relevant to my topic. Using the keywords and search operators has enabled me to filter out their irrelevant articles and only see those that are most relevant. Next, let's take a look at how this would work in an actual database. In this scenario, my assignment is for a criminology class, so I'm going to go to the library homepage and select Articles and Databases, and then click on the Criminology and Justice Studies link. This will take me to the Sociology and Criminology and Justice Studies Research Guide, which has a list of the most recommended databases for that discipline. This list includes the best bets, which are the highly recommended databases. I'm going to use Sociological Abstract for this search. To start, I will enter my incarceration search term and see what comes up. Here I've got over 13,000 results, but if I limit it to just scholarly articles, I will end up with 11,210. If I change my search term to racism, I will get 42,772 articles from scholarly journals, almost four times as many articles. But let's look at the advanced search options to combine these two terms so that we have the most relevant articles for the topic. I will now search incarceration in the upper box, and then in the next box, racism. These boxes are connected by the AND operator, which is in the drop-down menu. And now when I again select the scholarly journals option, I end up with 2,192 articles, which is far fewer than what we've seen so far. This means that in the earlier searches, there were thousands of articles that were not especially useful for my topic. As we look through these results, we can see that these are all fairly close to what I'm looking for. And just to compare how the operators work, I will change the search to incarceration or racism. And now we get 51,790 articles. But in an actual search, I would want to use the OR operator con to connect two terms that are synonymous or that meet the same criteria. A good example of this would be incarceration or prison, because both terms have very similar meaning and some authors may only use one or the other, but both are relevant to my topic. With this search, I get 37,113 articles. 
much more than the 11,000 that I got with incarceration alone. Now we can combine this new search with my other keyword, racism. I'll go back to the advanced search options to show how to enter a more complicated search. Now I'm gonna enter incarceration or prison in the top box. I wrote OR in all caps, but that isn't strictly necessary for the database. It helps me see that I'm using an operator which can be helpful if I'm gonna search multiple terms. In the next box, I will search racism and keep the drop-down option as AND. This means that I'll get a list of articles that either include incarceration and racism or prison and racism. And now I have 5,500 articles relevant to my topic. Let's look at how the search string is written in the search box at the top of the list of results. The terms I included in the top box are in parentheses. This works similar to algebra, and I can go in and make changes directly in this box. For example, I can add another OR term in the parentheses, like OR JAIL. This will give me more articles. Notice that all three of these terms are similar and have very similar meaning. I can also add OR terms to my racism concept by wrapping it in parentheses as well and typing racism or race, for example. Again, this broadens my search and I get even more results. I can also add more terms by including another AND operator. If I'm interested in a specific population, I can add terms that are used to describe that population, like youth. Similarly, if I'm interested in a particular region, I can add terms that describe that region, like United States or California. This has been a quick overview of how to use keywords and search operators to find the most relevant articles in a database. Don't forget that you can get help from a librarian by contacting us with any questions or requests. We are waiting to hear from you.